Hi folks, we're back working on the uh, Vauxhall Astra Mark IV, the Astra G. There is a problem with the bonnet pull. The actual lever is broken off. It's only a little plastic lever that lives inside just below the uh, right hand side of the steering wheel. But you can still pull it, but the actual plastic handle is broke away. Now the cable when you pull it and the handle is very, very tight. And I'm a bit worried about it. it's gonna snap. So I've actually bought another cable, but we're gonna try and find out, first of all, is it the cable? or is it the mechanism that's making the cable tight? So we're gonna to have to check that and fail in at, what we're gonna to have to do is put a new cable on. I definitely need to put a new handle on. So let's see uh, and get on with that. See you in a minute. Right, so I've got this on uh, eBay and uh, not even taken out of the packet yet, so it's brand new. And this is the cable that we've got to possibly try and replace, but on the one that we've got inside, this actual handle mechanism has broken away and snapped off. So that's what the initial problem is, but the handle's still floating about inside the car, so you can actually pull it. And because it's really, really tight to pull, I'm a bit concerned that like the little nipples that are on the end, either here or the one, the other end, this thing, I'm a bit worried that, that could pull off and break. So uh, let's get inside and have a look under the steering wheel and see where we are and see what we got to do. And then I've got to find out the root of this thing. Obviously it comes through the bulkhead somewhere, there's a rubber grommet there but as I say, I think it roots around the back of the engine, which could be a bit awkward, so let's get going. This is the uh, plastic lever there, as you can see there, look. And it's up there behind this cover, so I've got to actually get this off, although you can still pull it, but it's very, very tight. So I'm going to need to undo these four screws there and drop this tray out. So these should be just sort of half a turn, I think, and they should drop out then. There we go, two. There's one there in the back there. Three. There we go, four. Then this whole thing should come out of the way and give me a bit more access. So, if I look at the new handle, that's the other way around, isn't it? You ain't gonna believe this, folks. This cable, attachment is for a left-hand drive car <laughs> so i've had this for ages and ages in stock but it's just left in the bag that's why i didn't open it because i just looked through it and it looked like it had the right handle on but what's the chances of that happening so what i've actually done i've pulled the bonnet open now as you can see i've got the bonnet up in the air and coming in here that handle i can grab hold of let me get the light down now and pull it and the cable is actually nice and free so I now know that the cable, there's nothing wrong with the cable whatsoever. The reason why this handle is actually snapped off, looking at this one, on that pivot point there, that little pivot point thing, is where the little nodules broke off. So maybe I can take the, the other mechanism out and drill through here and put a screw through there on the one that I've already gotten and retain it. Because this one, as I say, it's, it's around the other way. It wants to be the other, <laughs> it's just the wrong one, full stop. And I can't even change this handle around because it pulls the other way. Unbelievable, what's the chances of that happening, eh? So as I know that this mechanism is being pulled in nice and easy, the cable, that's the actual cable there, you undo that nut and then just pull this back a little bit. What I need to do is to find out why this latch here is really tight, and I think it's personally that this here needs adjusting, which I believe you can undo by undoing that nut there. So I'm gonna get me adjustables out and see if that'll undo or loosen off where it's not putting as much tension on the spring up here. There we go, yeah, it does undo. So I'm thinking maybe if I just undo this a few turns, there's a couple of flats on there. Hopefully that will take the tension off of the, um, the mechanism, because maybe this was wound down a bit too tight, you know? So let's try that. Right, I'm gonna drop it down again now. But before I do that, I will just give it a bit of a, a bit of lubrication. Everything. That's the bonnet pull. Well, that's nice and free anyway. I'll just put a bit of squirt on there. That should be okay, as I say, because it's pulling nice and easy. But that won't hurt it, will it? If I drop this bonnet back down again, I'm hoping that's taking the tension off. Is it shut? Yeah, it's locked down all right. Now let me push that, pull that cable and see if it's tight. 
Oh, that's a lot easier, folks. There you go. That was a lot easier. They push it down again. Oh, that's perfect. Right, well, that's good. So all that means is that I haven't got to take that cable out, but we just proved that the adjustment on that screw in the bonnet was way too tight, making that cable really hard to pull, and that's why the handle broke. So I'm gonna try and get that mechanism out now. I think it just clips in, I haven't worked it out yet. We'll get it out and I'll fix a screw through that, and uh, that should fix the problem without having to mess about with that new left-handed one. So let me get it out and I'll see you in a minute. Right, so having another look at this, folks, it appears that this lever isn't actually broken. It's just, this is the uh, the old one, the, the new one, rather, and it's literally just popped out of its holder, but it looks like the cable's stretched because it's right back here at full throw, and I'm just wondering whether I can adjust the cable now. I've actually clipped it back into its holder. Up there, as you can see, look, it's actually in back into its holder like the other one, so it's not actually broke, what I thought was broke. So I'm gonna try and adjust this now by going into the bonnet area and just adjusting the cable slightly and seeing if we can lose some of that slack that's bringing that handle right the way back there. And apparently the way you adjust the outer sleeving on the cable is to undo this nut here. This is a little eight mil here. So if the cable has stretched like this one possibly has, you just undo that nut. So pull your cable through, not too much maybe to about there. You can see that's where it was and that's where I've moved it to. So I'll just nip that up. Now, and maybe that would have brought that handle, pulled it back a bit. I'm not gonna over tighten that, in case it crushes that cable inside, you see? Right, coming back here now, that handle now is a lot further back. Look, it's come right back to there now, before it was up here. So I've taken the slack out of the cable and that appears to now, look, be working okay, folks. So, I'm gonna shut the bonnet. Okay, nothing in the way, is there? No, nope, that's gotta go back in there. So if I shut that down now, quite hard. <laughs> right, let's go and pull that now. I'm hoping this has done the job. So, ready, let me just pull it. Oh, fantastic. Push it down again. Push it down, project man. And one more time. Oh, done. There you go, folks. So, this brand new cable, which I bought off of eBay, it's not for a right-hand drive car. It's for a left-hand drive car, which I obviously didn't know because I ordered it off of a, a UK site. So I called those how that's happened. And there was no parts I could use on it because the handle's round the other way. And I proved what the problem was by basically once I did eventually get the bonnet up by pulling that handle, lifting it up, and then coming to operate the cable again, the cable was nice and free. So that means it must have had something to do with the latch mechanism. We found out that the top bit, the, the spring that attaches to the bonnet, was wound in too tight, which was what was causing the resistance, which is what pulled our handle out of its, its actual holder. Because these aren't fixed in, they're just sort of clipped in. So all I've done was undo that little the spring part in the bonnet, wound it down a little bit so there wasn't as much tension on the mechanism, and hey presto, we just sorted the job out. So there you go. Two things to learn from this. One, when you get a new part, make sure it's the right part. This come from eBay, as I say, it was still in the bag and it looked the right part through the, uh, the bag, obviously, the clear bag. That's why I didn't bother opening it. And I've had nothing to do with this job and for months and months. So it's my own fault really for not checking. I can't return it now. That's the only other problem. The second thing is, once you have got a problem with that and the handle comes out, get your bonnet up and then pull your cable and see if it's free. If it is free, the chances are that your cable's not stuck or damaged at all. It's the adjuster on the bonnet where you need to wind that spring out as well. And what we also found that because it's been like, like this for a long time, it would stretch the cable and we adjusted the cable by undoing that little eight mil nut and pulling it back a bit. And that took all the slack out of the cable and the job's now sorted. Well, there you go, folks. Hope this explains you. There's not a lot on these Mark IV bonnet pulls on uh, YouTube. I was hoping to put this in for you, but obviously I can't do that, it's the wrong one. But as I say, with regards to the problem we've got, we've just sorted it, and hopefully you've seen how to do it as well. Anyway, thanks very much. Check out the other car videos. Uh, there might be something else you like there, and also have a look at my other playlists as well. So thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.